What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're drawing the Titan TV Man from Skibbity Toilet. Let's begin today's lesson on the top of our page with the head. So we start with a straight line going across from left to right. So we'll start from the left, going all the way across towards the right side, to right about there. Now from the sides, I'm just going to come straight down towards the bottom of the head. And I'll close off the bottom with another straight line. Now I want to trace this rectangle along the inside. So we're going to start with the top, go all the way across towards the right, come straight down the sides, and we'll close off the bottom. Now I want to give the head some form, so I'm going to add some perspective along the top. So from the top corners, I'm going to go up and then in towards the back of the head. Close this off with another straight line. Now with the head in place, let's move down the middle and draw a circle. We we'll start right in the center, going all the way around, and then back up towards the top. Let's trace this circle along the inside, just adding a thin frame. And we'll add one small circle in the center. Now I'm going to add a detail coming out from that circle. From the top left and right, draw a straight angle line going up and then out. And then from the bottom in the middle, come straight down. Let's add a point on the tips. So we're just going to angle this down and out like an arrow. And then from the ends, we're just going to pull this straight in towards the side of our circle. Now I'm going to go back up to the top and draw the inside edge of the coat. I'm going to start on the left side underneath the head. I'm just going to bend this in and then down. Let's go over towards the right and do the same thing. Let's go back to the center and draw the shirt collar. Angle this down and out towards the side, towards the bottom. And then angle this up and then out in behind the jacket. From the inside of the collar, draw two straight angle lines coming down the side of the knot. And then we'll close off the bottom. And then from the bottom corners, angle is down and out in behind that circle. Now I'm just going to line up the inside of the coat along the bottom of our circle, then the jacket, coming down and then out on either side. Let's add the coat collar, starting on the left, angle is down and out, angle is down and then in. Let's draw the top half of the collar. Along this line, it goes up and then out, and go up and then in. Now I'm going to add two sets of buttons on either side. Let's start on the left with a circle, and line that up on the right, move down, and then draw that again. Just underneath this point, we're going to add a curve coming down and up for the belt. Step down and draw that again. Let's leave a gap in the center and draw two lines, coming down on the left and right for the buckle. Let's round out the bottom of the coat, starting back on the left, go out and then up towards the sides. And then we'll bend the coat coming in and up towards the arms. Going in and then bend that up. Let's add the coat pockets with a straight line coming in. Flatten off the inside, and then go straight out. From the bottom of the buckle, we're going to step down and add a curve, going up and then down. Let's leave a gap in the center, go to the left side, bend the leg, going out and down towards the left heel, move over towards the right, go out and down towards the right heel. Now you want to round out the bottom of the feet. Let's start on the left side, then the foot coming down and then up. And then going back to the side, let's draw the top of the foot. I'm going to go up towards the top like a half circle. Bend that down towards the heel. And then we want to curl that back up towards the inside of the leg. Let's draw the outside of the leg. Underneath the coat, we're going to curve the leg going out and then down. 
down on top of the feet. We're also going to add a thick sole along the bottom of the feet. So I'm going to take this curve, step up, and just trace that across towards the heel. And then on the right side, from heel to toe. Now let's go back up to the top and draw in the arms. You're going to start along the side of the body, bend the arm going out, and then down towards the wrist. Let's line up the top on the right side and come down towards the same height. From the wrist, we want to draw a small half circle coming in and out for the thumb and then close off the end with a small bracket. Let's add three fingers on either side. We're going to start from the bottom of the thumb, then the first finger coming down and up around that bracket. Step down towards the side, add the second finger going out and up. Now the third finger, we're going to go out, blend into the arm going up and then in towards the shoulder to right about there. Let's do the same thing on the right. Start with the first finger, second, and then the third, you want to bring this up towards the same height as we have on the left. Let's angle the shoulder, going up and then in towards the top of the collar with a straight line. Now we're going to add the edge of the cuff, starting from the top of the thumb, then it's up and then out. Step up and draw that again. Let's add two buttons along the outside of the cuff. Let's step up and draw that again. Now let's add those blades across the wrist. We're gonna start from here, angles up and out on both sides. Go straight up with a short line. Then we'll angle this back down and then in towards the side of the arm. Let's add a blade across the top. From this point, we're going to step down, then it's up and then in, and then taper that back down. Let's add a large blade across the bottom. From this point, we're going to step down, then it's around the hand, and then in, and then again, just tapering that back up. Along the top of the shoulders, we're going to add some blades. Let's start on the left side with a straight angle line going up and then out. Let's line this up on the right, going up and then out. This angle is up towards the top of the blade. Now it's going to bend this in and then down. And then follow that same angle line coming back in towards the side of the shoulder. Let's add another blade, starting from the bottom, angle this around the head, going up, and go straight up towards the top. Now just like we did on the outside, we're just going to bend this in and then down, and then angle this back down towards the arm. Now we tuck the third blade in behind the head. So starting from the bottom, we draw two lines going up. And then we'll sign our art and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw the Titan TV Man from Skibbity Toilet. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also check out our other channels in the description below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.